All right, all right, all right. We are in the center of Agios Nikolaos. This is the very center of Agios Nikolaos. It is the square and around the square we have like some coffee shops. And if you would go to follow this uh, street, you will end up in the around the small little uh, lake or let's say it's connected to the sea and uh, some other shops but today we will be taking uh, this street uh, going around the marina exploring that area and uh, then uh, continuing our walk uh, from the seafront side it's very beautiful it's very interesting to see and take this walk so for your information, today it is Saturday, 24th of September, 2022, once again. That's the main square of uh, Agios Nikolaos and we are going to the left and the shop right in front of you is called Germanos and there is this uh, big church in the left so you don't get lost. While walking toward the marina, we also have in the both side of this street shops, coffee shops, and uh, shops for clothes and many other things. If the color temperature of the video is like changing wildly, it's due to the uh, inconsistent or unconsistent inconsistent uh, weather here because it's getting cloudy uh, and then it's sunny so my white balance is in manual mode uh, that's why it's getting a little bit cold and then it's getting warm I will try my best to fix it in the post but if it was not that pronounce then you can forgive me and be grateful in reality the weather is cold and uh, if you are carrying a heavy load then it's not gonna bother you but if you are out next to the sea you may need a small little sweater or a thin jacket to cover yourself this morning everybody is in a good mood uh, we are receiving lots of greetings Okay, so this is uh, the entrance to the marina of uh, Agios Nikolaos. At the same time, we have paid parking in this area. You can park your car and uh, it's, it's there going to be a small little fee. And if you walk a little bit further here, right in the left, we have a beach. And uh, as you can see, if you would walk this little seafront side path, uh, there are some taverns and uh, shops as well.
and if you would go this way there is there are more shops and more like local daily stuff going on Whenever you are uh, visiting Ayus Nikolaus and if you are staying in this area, I highly recommend uh, taking this path and uh, walking around. It's really, it is really beautiful and you are going to see that. And one another thing that you are going to notice is here uh, they are fixing the boats, they are polishing the boats, uh, a lot going on. I guess uh, the marina of Hagios Nikolaus is uh, one of those marinas which uh, hosts uh, the maximum amount of uh, fishing boats, sailing boats, yachts and all sort of uh, boats. Yeah. It's always busy and there are a lot of boats. Maybe it's due to the uh, this uh, workshop thing going on. There is this uh, boat fixing craft or maybe building craft. In case if someday you are uh, visiting a Jus Nikolaus and you cannot find parking, uh, you can try this area uh, in the right side. You see too many cars are parked and some other cars with uh, from the rental company. And you will find stairs like this one over there. And this uh, uh, these stairs like this directly is going to the center where the this lake is it's not actually lake because it is connected to the sea but let's call it lake
this is what I mean by saying uh, the construction of boats like a workshop or maybe they are even producing one and two per year And after a few minutes of walk, then the boring area is finished and you will get to this area. So if you arrive here, you can go and take a little hike uh, up in this small little hill. It's very nice to take pictures, you will get to have a very beautiful view toward the port of Ajus Nikolaus, this area, and you will also get to have a very beautiful view toward the sea from up there. And you can see some people are approaching this spot, uh, walking from inside the marina which is also possible slightly windy 
and kind of chilly but still I can see two people swimming in the sea So in this area we have a few taverns they are very beautiful just next to the sea next to the beach and some apartments this one in the left uh, up left seems like a hotel yeah, it's called Ketro beach hotel we have fresh fish from the boat seafood local food and also barbecue Well, there is a thing about uh, eating somewhere. You, whenever you are passing by a taverna or a restaurant or a cafe or a club, and then when you look at the the way they have organized their place and how many services they are providing and how big their space is, and if it is like it seems like too much and uh, unorganized believe me you don't want to enter that place and here we have some beautiful cafes just right next to the beach and the view is a little bit disturbed by the umbrellas which is not that necessary in this weather or in this uh, time of the year but uh, yeah without those umbrellas the, the view will be so beautiful al jazeera <laughs> good morning kalimera oh <laughs> They are asking, are you from CNN? <laughs> yeah, this is something which is not easy to deal with whenever the weather is like this. You will get to have... Like, yeah, you will, you will be challenged. And I, if I let things in the automatic mood, then the quality is going to be even more uh, bad yeah not a perfect day to make a video but a perfect day for a walk <laughs> but if you were taking a walk then why not to make a video
Okay, let me put the white balance in the automatic mode and see what's going to happen. Now we are completely automatic. Hopefully this is going to fix the problem. And if you personally would be here to see this moment with your uh, own eyes in real time, believe me, it's not the. It doesn't look that warm, and it doesn't feel that warm. So, yeah. folks, weather, <laughs> folks, winter is around the corner. <laughs> you better be fast. Look at that boat. I'm going crazy fast. And now when the sun is rising, whenever it is touching your skin, you feel the warmth, yeah. And if it continues like for 10 or 15 minutes, you are going to need a sunscreen to protect your skin. We have uh, another small little beach here. Also this, it has a shower. And they say no trash please.
and here in this area we have another port and I noticed some buses it possibly is uh, those buses that they are bringing you to the port and then from here uh, the trips can take you to Spinalonga or maybe to just uh, it is an area close to the center and then you can visit the center And also here we have a stop for the this train, which is uh, taking you for the tour around the Agios Nikolaos town. And the view from here is very beautiful. You have view toward the sea, the port. Really nice place, relaxed place to sit and drink a coffee or maybe uh, have uh, breakfast or lunch or brunch. <laughs> Yeah, I lately I've learned another word, it is called branch, I didn't know about it, yeah. I need to interrupt the music a little bit because I can get a copyright claim. Yes. It is uh, the time right now is uh, 10 and 18 a.m. in the morning it is pretty early for anything to be functioning especially in a touristic season because people tend to stay awake late in the night and they wake up late in the morning and the businesses as well <laughs> mm -hmm. as we are approaching the very center of Agios Nikolaos the view is getting interesting and we see some activities going on such as uh, a significance in the <laughs> number of people walking around <laughs> I don't know how much of the video I lost but yeah I was in a very <laughs> deep flow of uh, following the walk and talking but anyways we got it back
if you notice in uh, every city and town in Crete we have this path, uh, walking path, this walking area next to the sea which is very good for our mood if you are walking it's very good to look at the sea and uh, it's kind of romantic as well to walk with your uh, girlfriend, maybe wife or whoever with your partner or even if you are friends it's a very mood elevating thing walking by the sea and uh, what is the difference between uh, every city well if you are uh, walking by the sea in Khania it has a very nice city ambient there are no traffic uh, and it is calm but you have like the coffee shops the taverns playing music and you are listening to the people and it's not a place like you can run or you can well you can run but there will be people and in the winter uh, it's very wavy and uh, yeah it's not that inviting to do so and if you will go a little bit away from Khania uh, to tower the Neahora beach it's still nice but like here we have the road it's a bit it can get a bit noisy and that can kind of uh, uh, decrease decrease it can make a small little change and decrease in the mood that you are walking smooth uh, subconsciously the noise like over and over but what i like about heraklion is it's a completely dedicated uh, area where you walk by the sea like there are no shops there are there is no traffic noise uh, you can barely hear the traffic from the street and uh, you can run you can bike and that's why I prefer uh, that the also based on many other uh, factors I think that the life quality and uh, the facilities are uh, one notch uh, upper than any other town or any other city in Heraklion of course the, uh, these places are beauty and if this is something that doesn't make any difference for you and if you are somebody who wants to hike if you are somebody who can drive like a kilometer or two to go to the wilderness and, and, and take a walk and do this kind of things then every place in the world is a good place for you yeah but if you are somebody who is uh, living in the city and at the end of the day or in the morning before going to the work wants to go for a walk or take your dog for a walk then I prefer uh, uh, all the other factors included Heraklion is a good city to live These people, those who came to this hotel are uh, applying the sunscreen and wishing that the sun will rise <laughs> and they will get some sun. Yeah, I hope they get lucky today.
Uh, this beach has a very good name. Let me check. A moody beach, yeah. So, this is the beach uh, in the summertime. It is kind of uh, like slightly to the close to the like. It's a different version of, uh, let's say, Star Beach in Ajos Nicolas, and uh, it's not even close. Uh, to Star Beach, but they are trying their best to provide that type of, that type of uh, services. Like you can see, you can uh, party, there is club, sunbeds, and get high and then uh, ride a jet ski or maybe rent a boat and go crazy in the sea. This kind of things exist here. But if you are looking for that uh, multicultural uh, combination of the people that's uh, less uh, apparent here yeah Star Beach uh, Shirsonisos Malia Beats every place in Kriti when it comes to partying in the season you will be like okay Platanias is a partying place well maybe but if you ask me how do you see it if you com compare this Amudi beach to Shirsonisos and to Platanias I will say this place is uh, like 20 percent even not like 15% of what uh, Star Beach or Shirsonisos is uh, when it comes to partying and uh, Platanias is like uh, around 30% and uh, Shirsonisos is 100% so you can imagine how much big the difference is How much big the difference is or how big the difference is? How big the difference is, yeah. How significant the difference is. Uh, I can say that as well. Okay, there you go. This is your uh, Amudi beach. Well, next to the Amudi beach, there is another resort. I don't know the name, I don't remember the name, but uh, that seems like a good one to me. And uh, it's very down to the ground, no high buildings, not like corridors that you have to walk through the corridors. I really, I really don't like walking in the corridors. It's like small, small little uh, rooms, villas uh, on the ground and then just in front there is sea and this beautiful island over there and the mountains a little bit behind and a very beautiful blue sky.
Anna hat sich jubelt. Okay, if we go left, we still can walk back to the center of Agios Nikolaos or if we go a little bit further, then we turn left, it will uh, again lead us to the center of Agios Nikolaos. But we are going to be walking this path. Also, the police station of Ayus Nikolaos is in this area. In case, well, you can search that in the Google, but yeah, it's just around the corner in the right. When it comes to Ayus Nikolaos, believe me, it's not like a uh, plain city. It is uh, pretty steep and high. It has lots of areas where you need to like go uphill and lots of areas that you need to go downhill. Okay, so it's pointing that we can go to the port from here. Well, over there, the building with the balconies, which is blue color, that's the police station. If you have any per problem of sort, let's say, knee problem, uh, hypertension, uh, a cardiac problem, these hikes could be challenging. And I'm not kidding. And if you are somebody who thinks like you are not in the proper uh, shape, uh, weight category or age to challenge yourself then try to look for a place where you have at least enough parking area available so you can do this with the car otherwise find a place where it is plain and it is easy to go for a walk because you don't want to get stuck in your hotel room yeah look at me well I'm carrying like a pretty heavy weight load also my backpack and it's been quite a while that I'm walking okay so real quick this will be 
your entrance if you are coming from the main street this is the double road which is entering the Ayus Nikolaus city going to the city center in the a little bit further over there there is a supermarket Sclavinitis uh, also it's a big chain market and then you will arrive here Well, this is uh, the central hospital of Ayus Nikolaus and uh, you can read here this is the way to the center also one thing to mention uh, behind the hospital there is a very big space parking space where you can park your car for free and walk the rest over the center not now you can find now parking but in the high season it's really challenging to find parking If we go straight, we will get to the uh, marina of uh, Ayus Nikolaus and if we take that street, then we easily can get to the center and to the lake. Yeah, they are also calling it lake. But we are going to take this way to go to the marina, which is not... Uh, usually are typically taken by most of you who are visiting so it's going to be something new for you to see And if you think that if I had the chance to buy a house here in Ayus Nikolaus or to live here in Ayus Nikolaus, uh, am I going to decide to live here? No. never decide to live here no well that's a something personal thing but 
in the terms of like uh, the architecture and the mapping of the city is not that smart I mean like yeah it is beautiful it is nice to stay here but for living I still prefer Heraklion Well, I guess there is one another thing also involved why we, why I maybe personally like uh, Heraklion because of the Venetian walls of Heraklion because the remaining of the Venetian architect it's just so inviting and also in the meantime you always have uh, like a endless uh, view Whenever you are looking at the sea, you will just uh, see the Dia Island and other than that, you have this beautiful view to the sea and like you just keep looking and the sea and the sky will merge together and your eyes will still continue looking at the sea, this nothingness, this blue. And uh, in the night time, no matter in which corner of uh, Heraklion uh, you are living uh, you will have like a very beautiful nightscape toward the buildings and uh, uh, like there is a mountain uh, right uh, at the end of Amudara uh, the, where the Rodia village is located and then uh, this mountain at the night gets dark and the lights the houses uh, which has light there it looks like you have put a whole galaxy like just above the sea and it's so beautiful well those are the things that it is kind of pleasant for the eyes and other than that the shops that there are the services the variety of things like I mean like there is the uh, mostly the concerts are being uh, taking place in there and like the list uh, goes on and on and two big hospitals and the university uh, like uh, 
places, services to learn language, various uh, sport activities such as yoga and uh, kickboxing. I mean, like uh, you, you, from everything, you have multiple options to choose. So that is making it uh, for me like it gives you more freedom and like you are not forced to stick into one place or into one shop into one stadium yeah or into one gym anyways <laughs> maybe i'm being a little bit uh, biased here because i live in Heraklion and i have been living there for a long time maybe that's why i like the city but you can also think like if somebody is living there for straight uh, five to six years and still that person likes the city it means there is something about it okay so we still can go in the right i don't know where it's gonna take me but as far as i remember for me to go to the port i guess i need to follow the uh, across the street this will also take you to the port i guess nobody was expecting this much traffic For the visiting, well, if you want to visit uh, Ajus Nikolaus, not a bad idea at all. It's a very beautiful city and it's very nice. But the only thing is that if I'm staying here in the city, I am limited to the options of just uh, going where I show you in the very beginning of the beach to the, uh, to the in the video to the beach I mean like that's uh, there are not too many options for you available to go to the beach by walking by hiking if you ask me about Heraklion it's the same there is just uh, one beach that you can walk to and it's called Amudara beach and that's the closest and other than that there are uh, not any other beaches that you can go by walking okay so this is the downside about uh, Ajus Nikolaus and Heraklion where you don't have like a variety of options to choose from But if you are staying in uh, Khania, then things are a little bit different. Yeah, you have at least six or seven beaches that you can walk to and you still can walk. There is the beach of Agia Marina, Platanias, uh, Agio Apostoli, uh, then there is Neahora. Well, I mean like Hania is good in that sense. Yeah. Okay, so let me put it this way to not confuse you if you are uh, willing to 
visit Kriti, best destination for your vacation is Khania. First option, best option is Khania. Okay. And the uh, second option, uh, is uh, well it's uh, difficult to choose between uh, Retimno and Agios Nikolaos because Retimno has this beautiful uh, Venetian architect and the old town is beautiful okay but Agios Nikolaos has like Ilunda, Spinalonga and this uh, different type of vibe but I will still uh, give it to like written no yeah and then the third place could be uh, Agios Nikolaos and well Heraklion it depends Heraklion is a good city for living uh, it's a good city for visiting I mean like if you were visiting Heraklion probably you were uh, somewhere in Chersonisos, Somalia and these places you still can pay a visit to Heraklion but uh, how many days? you can go to Knossos, you can go to some museums everything alright, like you can stay around three days in Heraklion but and if you have a car, if you want to travel around uh, you want to stay in Heraklion so every time that you are going to a place and you are coming back that's going to be a little bit uh, like expensive you will because you have to uh, pay for the fuel and you have to rent a car yeah where in uh, Kanya you still can uh, visit places such as Agia Marina, Platanias, just by walking. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm uh, myself I'm confused because these are the things that can never be black and white I will leave it up to you you tell me and uh, explain which city do you like and why you like yeah that can help me And we are back from where we started our walk. So how much time it took me? Well, you are watching the video and <laughs> this much time it took me.
going on. I guess they are jumping from there which is another fun thing to see. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, very good timing. the adrenaline is rushing in his body oh, very well done I better start moving and focus on making the video I don't want to get involved in something like that It's like right now every atom of my body is telling me to go do something like that. Yeah. And now there is a girl. Let me zoom.
Okay, we have another jump. Oh, this one was more trained. Yeah. Okay folks, so this was it for uh, Jos Nikolaus. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and also share your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. And if you want to support me and support the channel, uh, links in the description. Other than that, until the next time, peace. Well, I'm gonna wait for that man to jump. <laughs>